Okay, this is going to be part one of a complete SAT uh, math sample test. Um, I'm not positive that these are ever have ever been actual questions, but I can promise you that they are very similar. So, um, the first question I'm going to do here, let me see if I can get it in here, it says, how many positive integers less than 36 are equal to four times an odd integer? Well, <clears throat> I think the easiest way probably to do this problem is to just check. Okay, so how many positive integers less than 36 are equal to 4 times an odd integer? Well, we could take 4 times 1, that's odd, that gives us the number 4, that's certainly less than 36. 4 times the next odd integer would be 3, 4 times 3 is 12, so that one also works. The next odd number after 3 is 5, that gives us 20. Um, so that's smaller than 36. The n next number we could try odd would be 7, which is 28. That's certainly less than 36. The next odd number would be 9, which actually gives us 36. And, well, that's certainly not less than 36. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers. So there are four positive integers less than 36 that are equal to four times an odd integer. Whoops, you can't see my four. Um, four total. So nothing too crazy. That, the SAT is uh, largely about these types of problems. <clears throat> um, just kind of random little questions they seem like. So in the next one, it says, if in the figure line L1 and L2 are parallel, and BC bisects ABD, then the value of X, this angle up here, is going to equal what? <clears throat> so I drew a little picture of it. Um, this angle is 130 degrees, so L1 and L2 are parallel. Um, we have this line BC, and that bisects the angle ABD. Okay, and we want to figure out this angle X. Well, if these lines are parallel, if you look at this angle, you can conclude that this angle is the same thing, which is 130 degrees. And since all of these angles are adjacent to the same line, we know that the angles all have to add up to 180. So we know that this angle must be 50 degrees. So then we get 130 plus this angle of 50 degrees to be 180. And since this angle cuts the 130 angle in two, well half of 30 is going to be 65 degrees and 65 degrees. So the main thing we're interested though is the fact that this angle of 65 degrees plus 50 degrees, this angle is going to be the same thing as the angle X. So if we add 65 and 50, we're going to get that x equals 115 degrees, and that would be our answer. Okay, let's try another problem here. And there's a lot of these problems, there's multiple ways you can do them for sure. So you may have an easier way, a better way. I certainly don't claim to have the, um, the only way, and you know, um, uh, you could say what ways is the best, but that's going to be a matter of personal preference. So, <clears throat> okay, in this problem it says a long distance telephone call costs a buck eighty, dollar eighty, for the first three minutes and forty cents for each additional minute. It says if the charge for an X minute long distance call at this rate was four twenty, then X equals. Okay, this is one of these problems you can do a lot of different ways. So. It's 180 for the first three minutes. Uh, first three minutes <clears throat> and 40 cents for each additional. And it says the total charge was 420. Um, and it says then we want to know the number of minutes that you spoke. You could set up an algebra equation, you could make a big table. To me the easiest way to do this is to take, I'm going to take the 420 and subtract away um, $1.80 and if you subtract away $1.80 what's that going to give you? I believe um, 240 
left over. Okay, so the dollar eighty takes care of three minutes worth of worth of talking, and <clears throat> we talked an extra two dollars and forty cents worth after that. Well, if those phone calls, if those minutes now cost forty cents each, that's going to give us a total of six minutes extra. So we talked for three minutes that cost us a dollar eighty, and another six minutes at forty cents each, which adds up to two forty. So we talked for a total of nine minutes. Okay, so this is just the first three problems here. I'm going to keep working through these, so feel free to stick around and uh, watch the other parts as well.